Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. This week I have a elephant tribal print for you, as well as a gradient. And I know some people think gradients are actually hard to do, but the technique I use is pretty simple to do. So, I love this design, because I'm like obsessed with elephants right now. This was also kind of inspired by my purse that I've been carrying around for a while. I'm not entirely sure if it has all these colors in it, but I know it has the blue and green. And maybe just this tiny smidge of yellow. I haven't really fully looked, but I'm not sure. But it does have the elephant and tribal print along it. It's so cute. With that being said, let's get on into it to see how it's done. Like we always do, we're going to start off with a base coat to protect our natural nails. Up next, when the base coat is dry, we're going to put down a thin layer of white nail polish so our gradient will show up the best it can. I'm not saying it wouldn't show up just like on our natural nail like this, but with the white, some of the colors are kind of pastel. So it helps it out. And it does not matter what this looks like because you're not going to see it under the gradient. Okay, so now that the white is dry, I put liquid latex around the nail for easier cleanup. And I'm using my favorite lace liquid latex, liquid latex by Twinkle Tea. And I don't know if I've shown you guys this gradient before huh, but I'll show you now so what you do is you take a makeup sponge just any old makeup sponge you can get at the drugstore and you just paint the colors on like this you're gonna have to go over them a couple of times because the first layer of polish you paint on will get absorbed by the sponge That should do it. Now you're going to take it and just roll it like this. Just like that. And as you can tell, the white, the yellow, excuse me, did not come off the first time like it is. So you're going to have to do the same thing a couple times to get to the colors to the opacity that you want. Okay, so once the gradient is dry, I'm going to go on to, to the stamping. And I'm using one of my brand new plates that I got in my mystery bundle uh, pack from Bundle Monster. I made a video on this. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I did this a month or so ago. But this is a blogger collaboration plate. It's Bundle Monster and Chit Chat Nails. Also, I do want to point out that Bundle Monster is rebranding and they're now going to be called Maniology so their plates will no longer look like this so if you have some of these then you will have a rare item because Bunda Monster will be no more but anyways like I said this is Bunda Monster and Chit Chat Nails this is BMXL202 and we're going to be using this Aztec and er, I guess you could call it Aztec, but it's this tribal pattern and elephants right here. And as you can tell, I've already put liquid latex down around my nails just to help with the cleanup again. And as you can tell, the gradient is also more opaque than when you guys last saw it. And I think this took about three, three to maybe four passes of the sponge. Which it wasn't that very long because the layers are thin. And our last thing to do is to seal it all in with a glossy quick dry top coat. Here's the final look for you guys. If you guys enjoyed it, 
give this video a big thumbs up. It helps me know you like me and my videos. Also, give it a big thumbs up if you like elephants, like I do. Because I do. <laughs> if you're not already and you would like to be, hit that button down below and subscribe to my channel so you never miss an upload. While you're down there subscribing, also be sure to turn on the post notifications so you're always notified when I upload. And leave a comment down below for what you'd like to see next, and I'll see y'all later. Bye!